morning everyone. Today is Alphabet Tuesday, which means we're going to focus on the letters A, B, and C. We're going to read a book first, do a movement activity, and then we're going to move straight into our alphabet tracing activity. So first we're going to read There Was an Old Monster by Rebecca Adrian and Ed Emberley. So I'll show you pictures after I read each page. There was an old monster who swallowed a tick. I don't know why he swallowed the tick, because it made him feel sick. Next, that old monster, he swallowed some ants. He took a big chance when he swallowed those ants. Because man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch, scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick because he still felt sick. Then that old monster, he swallowed a lizard. He inked open his gizzard and he swallowed that lizard. He swallowed that lizard to catch the ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick cause he still felt sick. Next thing I know, he swallowed a bat. Can you imagine that? When he swallowed that bat. He swallowed the bat to catch the lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch. Then he swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick cause he still felt sick. Then that old monster, he swallowed a jackal. I swear I heard him cackle when he swallowed that jackal. He swallowed the jackal to catch the bat. He swallowed the bat to catch the lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick cause he still felt sick. Then he went and swallowed a bear. You should have been there when he swallowed that bear. He swallowed the bear to catch the jackal. He swallowed the jackal to catch the bat. He swallowed the bat to catch the lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Scritchy scratch, scritch, scritchy scratch. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick cause he still felt sick. Now this old monster, he felt like he was dying. So the next thing he tried to swallow was a lion and all of a sudden there came a great big roar and that monster was no more scritchy scratch scritch scritchy scratch so now that we finished the book we're gonna do one movement dance it's called we all fall down so because my space is limited you're not gonna really see me when I fall to the ground, but um, most of you know how it works. I'll scoot it back. Walk around the circle, walk around the circle, walking, walking, we all fall down. Gallop. Gallop around the circle, gallop around the circle, galloping, galloping, we all fall down. Shh, let's tiptoe. Tiptoe around the circle, tiptoe around the circle, tiptoe, tiptoe, we all fall down. Uh, I'm so sleepy. 
sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Um. <gasps> Wake up, everybody. Come on. We're gonna hop. Hop around the circle, hop around the circle, hop, ding, hop, ding, we all fall down. Let's twirl. Twirl around the circle, twirl around the circle, twirling, twirling, we all fall down. Let's hop and twirl. Hop around the circle, twirl around the circle, hop, ding, twirling, we all fall down. All right, let's move on to our activity. Where's this part? All right. So we are going to do a tracing alphabet activity. So first, I have a whiteboard and an Excel marker, and we're first going to do the letter A. So, so first we're going to go, we're doing the capital letter and then the lowercase letter, and once I do this, then we'll move on to the tracing part. So you start at the top, you go down, lift up, go back to the top, like this, this is number two, and then you're going to go across. So that's the capital, and then we're going to do the lowercase. So. We're gonna do, we start at the top, go this way, circle, back up, and then as I like to call it, the children know too, you make a little tail. So we have the capital and the lowercase. Then we're gonna do the capital B. So you do a line down, lift up, go back to the top, do a hump, and then another hump. It's a little shaky after doing that movement activity. I'm out of breath. And then for the lower keys B, you go down, lift up, go to the middle of the line, and make a hump. And then we're going to move down again, and the C, start here. We're going to go around, capital C, and then a little lowercase c. So now that we drew that, we're going to write on a blank piece of paper, the exact same thing. And we're going to start with the letter A and we're going to put it on a tray. So I'm going to write A, make it big. So this is what I want it to look like. I'm going to put it in the tray, and I'm going to use cornmeal, but you can use anything. You can use rice, flour. So I have a bag of cornmeal, and I'm going to dump it in the tray. Let's see if you can see on the floor. So I dumped it. All right. So I dumped it. I'm going to move it around so it covers it. Then with your finger, I want you to trace it. Go down, back to the top, down this way, and across. And then you're going to do the lowercase a. So start at the top, do a circle, and then a tail. So you can try that as many times as you want. And then I want you to do the same thing with the letter B and the letter C. So you can shake this one off, grab another piece of paper, write the capital B, lowercase b, put it under the cornmeal, and trace again. So for the purpose of time, I'm not going to write it again, but pretend like there's a B in there. I'm going to go down, hump, hump, back to top, line down, B, then do it again. Grab, take that paper off, write, grab another piece of paper, write the capital C, the lowercase c, put it underneath the cornmeal, and then trace, capital C, and then lowercase c. So you can try that as many times as you want. And it's also fun. 
because it adds a little sensory to it. So that's what I want you to try today. Um, thank you for joining me for Alphabet Tuesday, and I hope to see you tomorrow for Craft Wednesday.